This little video is a kind of a discussion about the rod rack. Somebody had sent me a message and said, uh, can you briefly explain that rod rack on the wall and where'd you get it or did you make it? Well, I made it and I never really thought much about it because uh, that's I needed a, a rod rack a long time ago and I just didn't have the money and I've been making them like that ever since. And they're just real inexpensive to make. And you can see it's just a one by four. Let's get a little measurements here. See you know, one by four, which will is, you know, they call it one, but that's three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches. And then uh, according to your, you know, how far apart you drill your holes depends on which rod you have. I I drilled mine a little closer so I could kind of condense them and get them a few more in there because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots for rods here. Now, I put those, you can see each center is a little bit different. That one right there is about six and a half on center. And that one there is about six, yeah, about six and a half, six. And then it goes up. This one goes on about um, five on center. But some of the rods that I had up here had smaller reels on them. So if you put them all about six and a half on center, that means from the center of this hole to the center of this hole, you do that about six and a half. That would give you enough room for an average spinner reel to hang just above the next pole. See how this is and like how that is. And then you can see on the other side over there, this is a I put a two by four, I meant two by four, I know better than that. I put a one by four in here. Let's see, I'll just keep making that freaky noise. And you can see I put a one by four. It's basically, it's like that, and then I nailed through the back of that one by four into this one by four. They're not very sturdy, but you know, fishing rods don't weigh a lot. So I'll just um, pretty much just stack this one on top of that one. I don't know if you can see that. You can see, okay, you can see the, the back of that one before right there. And then just nailed through that into this one. So that way you kind of have a, this turns into kind of an L-shaped bracket. Then you can just screw it to the wall. Yeah, up there you just should be able to see a, a screw. Ah, there you go. Right up here. And it doesn't take but about two screws. You know, use about a two and a half or three inch screw. Make sure you find a stud because you don't want all this falling off. There's lots of dollars hanging up there in, in rods. So uh, even got a couple of new poles up there that haven't even, I ain't even taken the stickers off of them yet. Abu Garcia and uh, whatnot, low riders. And there's one for a loaner pole for uh, a guest pole, I call it. I don't spend a lot on guest poles. But just take you a whole saw like this and set the tripod back down so it's too shaky. Like you filmed it this week. You take you a whole saw like this. And it doesn't have to be the same size whole saw I use. Just hole saw is what you have. Uh, see the size of this? You don't need one that big. See how much space is in here? You can get by with a lot less space, but the bigger the hole is, when you come home and you're tired and you've washed that hole and you want to go put it up, and you just, you know, you don't have to thread the needle. These are a little bit smaller up here, but that's okay. <coughs> Ooh. You can take this board and that board and set them together and mark them at the same, you know, the same spots where you're going to drill the holes, and then uh, just drill the holes for your rods. And then once you drill these holes out right down here, use a much smaller bit hole saw here. And then once I drill the hole through there, I just took this jigsaw and cut out a little chunk for the hole to fit through. And what you want to do is see how it's not right on the eyes because you don't want that sitting on that eye. Make sure your pole is protected. So make sure that you have enough space where 
that eyelet is not sitting like that. Make sure you get enough space for that. I do like to fish a little bit. There's another rod holder back over there. The garage is a, a mess right now because I, I just finished that teardrop camper there. That's a 5x8 Benroy. So it, it'll, I'll have a video up on that pretty soon. And then i got to get back on the one for my wife and I. There's a nice maple inside. Kind of that bean shape. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome, and I'll have to do up on that too. I just gotta catch up with everything. Got so much stuff going on. Anyhow, this is uh, basically how to make a fishing pole holder rod, and you don't have to have really any special tools. You know, a friend of yours may have, you may have a friend who has one of these hole saws. Just borrow one of those. Pretty much everybody has a drill, or borrow the hole saw and a drill from your neighbor, and. You just need a small package of nails and uh, two eight foot long one by fours. So, or you can make it less where it just has three or four poles and you use uh, two six foot one by fours. But go ahead and make it, go ahead and make you a, a sizable one because then that way when you acquire some more poles, uh, you don't have to make another one. Because you can see there, I got that one and the other one. That's about fishing poles, and there's still more fishing poles around here. I got fishing poles in the house. So, all right, well, thanks for watching. That's uh, my brief description of my rod holder, and uh, hope this helps you in some way. If you have any more questions about it, just leave it in the comment section, and I can give you a written diagram. I mean, it's just real simple. But remember, you don't have to make it exactly like mine or exactly like somebody else's just uh, make it close as long as it holds your rods up off the ground and keeps them from getting damaged you're in good shape so like and subscribe thanks for watching